tonight in a historic Edgecombe County town. It's been forced to evacuate because of the threat of flooding. 17 years ago, you might remember, Princeville was nearly wiped out by Hurricane Floyd. It's the oldest town in our country to be founded by African Americans, and it carries a rich historic legacy. Our David Grisbowski was there as deputies went door to door telling people to clear out. He joins us live from a shelter that's just been set up. David? Sean, 2,200 people evacuated Princeville uh, within the last couple of hours. There's some right behind me right here at the Martin Millennial Academy, and they're preparing for even more flooding. Emergency evacuation. Please leave Princeville. Fire crews driving through the streets of Princeville for a mandatory city evacuation. The rising of the Tar River raising concern for the city of Princeville tonight, resulting in a 7 p.m. curfew. Officials say the river will continue to rise to nearly 36 feet by early Tuesday morning. At almost 35 feet, the Tar River water reaches the base of the Princeville dike. We have the curfew. The deputies will be out here monitoring the situation to make sure our homes are safe and sound. So hopefully we can come back tomorrow and find our homes in the same shape as it was before we left. Residents made their way to two locations in Tarboro, like here at the Martin Millennial Academy for shelter. Just praying that everything be good because this is me and my kids basically first time having our own. So just praying that basically everybody be safe and home safe. We've had families coming in and out throughout the day. Uh, right here we have about 48 that are in this facility uh, over at our high school, Tarboro High School. We have about 96 people. People here at the shelter are worried for the safety of their homes, but they don't want to repeat what happened nearly 17 years ago with Hurricane Floyd destroying the entire city. I think that everybody should get out pretty much. Um, if you're not out by now, you need to get out and come to a safe place because it's not safe out there. Sean, people remember Hurricane Floyd back here in 1999. That Tar River uh, nearly peaked almost 41 feet, destroying hundreds of homes. Now, tonight, Mayor Bobby Jones says him and his crews are over in, in, over in the city, making sure everyone is okay and make sure no one is in the city themselves. For right now, we're in Tar Barrel. David Grzbowski, CBS, North Carolina.